Captain, hi. I'm glad you're here. Poor Shio. I keep hearing her voice, that memory. She just wanted to stay with us a little longer. I'd imagine there are a lot of things she still wanted to do. She was only able to be human for so long. It's not fair. So many little fragments of her memory. Her life and her choices and her hopes. She was so small, so fragile, and still had to make such a choice. She balanced the weight of the world. That small, fragile girl saved us. She saved the world. The moon was the only place she could go. They fight. Shio fought for us. And my parents, they fought for a better world. Always hoping we could have a brighter future. And I... I won't let those fights end in vain. The Nova wants to destroy us. Wants to end our future. I can't face this battle alone. I need your help. Please. Come on, dude, you don't gotta ask. I can't believe you. You really thought you were alone in this, huh? Like you're the only one who feels that way. Thank you. All right, now that's decided. Now we just need a viable strategy. We've already seen the Nova won't go down without a fight. Hey, hey, I'm locking all those teamwork sounds I'm hearing. Lindo, sir. We tracked down the Nova and got some new intel that just might end this fight. Hope everyone's ready for a briefing. The Nova's holed up in the mountains, dormant for the moment. It's in what the scientists call the pupa stage, which means it's gonna transform into something big and nasty. Now, I know you all like big, nasty, near-invincible monsters, but Lika stumbled upon some good news. I didn't exactly stumble on it. Point is, our god arcs can't counter the Nova's massive hodgepodge of bias factors. But I think, note on think, we found a way to tear down its defenses. Temporarily, a little bit. It was actually Coda's report that led us here, so thank you, Coda. And it what? In the moments after an origami absorbs a new core, its bias factors converge, um, trend, towards a certain pattern. In the case of the Nova, its tons and tons of factors will be reduced to a few basic ones that we can analyze and break. And the best part, the best part, the more powerful the core it eats, the more dramatic the effect. So all we have to do is get some prime bait, the best cores we can dig up. When the Nova devours, it'll crash its defenses hard. See, no trouble at all. After it emerges, the Nova will still be weak for a brief time. We blast the core into it then, before it can react. Once it starts absorbing, its defenses will crash and realign. All we gotta do is focus on cutting that beast down. You should have almost an hour to slay the beast before it fully takes in the new factors. Allow me to stress this point. You are granting the Nova a strong core. If it survives, the Sword of Damocles comes crashing down. It is a sound strategy, but this will be our one and only opportunity. If the Nova is allowed to pupate and emerge, full grown and stronger than ever, we may never defeat it. Alia Yakta Est. I'll combine the dreadnought cores we've been collecting to form the bait. It should be very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Well, please feel free to discuss the operation specifics amongst yourselves. Oh, just one more thing. We've estimated when the Nova is like to emerge. Strange. It should appear just as the moon approaches its perigee. Uh, the closest one in 18 years. Now, isn't that intriguing?